seconds of wisdom. Five, four, three, two, one. Am I on live? Live. Six seconds of wisdom. Our blog is called Beyond Vanity, and we get the word vanity from the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter one, verse two, where it says, Vanity, vanities, all things are vanity. And it's a key word in the book. And it, it speaks to the idea of vanity, that word, Hebrew word hebel, it means mist or fleeting. Um, it speaks to the idea that God has afflicted the world ever since the curse of the fall uh, with a permanent and unchanging aspect of futility and vanity in, in the sense that, well, um, th this world is, is going to be, um, everything's impermanent in the world, uh, death. Um, is the fate of all people and we don't understand uh, most things that are happening in, in the world in terms of God's purposes and that many of our purposes uh, do not uh, come about the things that people are aiming for in life and also uh, sin. Sin, to, sin enters into people and that's never going to go away so in that sense all things are vanity the Bible also, but the book also talks about this also is vanity, describing specific instances where people's goals and purposes don't come about. Uh, they're futile, and in many cases, it's either because they're foolish or because God frustrates the purposes of people. So in that sense, when you look out in the world, so much of everything in life, there's a vanity to um, the purposes and plans of humans. And that's part of the negative aspect of the book of Ecclesiastes. And it's something we really need to learn in life. Um, now, that's not the end of the story, but Eleanor will have to grab me uh, for 60 more seconds to go, to go to that. And that was 60 Seconds of Wisdom with Andrew Matthews.